folks, Jim Ryan here, host of the Peak Northwest video series. And today we're going to teach you a thing or two about going snow camping with gear you may already have at home. So I'm gonna get my boots on here and we're gonna head out. All right, so tip number one. Even if in the summertime you feel good going like eight or 10 miles into the backcountry to set up camp, pick someplace easy for your first snow camping destination. Today we are up near Mount Hood and I've picked a super easy access spot just a short ways from the road. So I'm gonna grab my tent, and my sleeping bag, and head on out. Tip number two, as soon as you have found your spot to camp, so a nice flat area, you're gonna to wanna to go stomp around in your skis, snowshoes, or just your boots to make sure that your space is full. This is a lot easier if you have snowshoes or skis. The more that you can do of this at the beginning, the happier you're gonna be once your camp is set up. But it does look very silly. Tip number three, if there's any kind of bumpy or rough spots in your campsite, one of the advantages of snow camping is that you can get out a shovel and use snow from around the area to fill in those spots. This is just a small, packable shovel, something that could be good to keep in your car, or in my case, in my backcountry skiing backpack. Tip number four. It's obviously great if you can get your hands on a winter-specific tent, but for a day like today, when it's pretty nice outside and not that cold, a more standard tent like you may have at home, such as this one from REI, is probably gonna be all right. Number five, you're gonna to wanna to stake your tent down so it doesn't blow away. And the little stakes that come with your tent, they're not gonna do much for you in the winter time. So I've brought along here some ski poles and trekking poles that are gonna do a little bit better job of making sure our tent doesn't go in. Tip number six. Once you have your tent properly anchored down so it's not going to blow away, it's time to get your gear out of the elements and into the tent. With me here, I have a warm sleeping bag and then two different sleeping pads, a Z pad and an inflating pad. Tip number seven, having a nice warm sleeping setup. In this case for me, I have a three degree mountain hardware sleeping bag it was inspired by many, many cold nights outside. Tip number eight. Once you have your tent more or less situated, you can dig out a spot to store any gear you don't want in your tent overnight. Once you've shoveled out a spot for your gear, it's time to stake out the vestibule to have an actual place to put it. In this case, I'm gonna use part of my shovel because I ran out of things to stake with. Tip number nine. If you were in an exposed area that was very windy or you wanted to get creative, you could build yourself a wind block with blocks of snow or a bench or any other kind of things that you want to have around your camp. I'm gonna forego that step today because as you can see, it's starting to rain and I'm gonna get inside my tent here shortly. Our 10th and final tip is using the snow to make ourselves some water. So I have a little baby backpacking stove. I'm gonna get this sucker set up and get to boiling some water. Once you've made your snow into water and brought it to a boil, you can use it, of course, for drinking water, to make coffee or tea or hot cocoa. You can put it into a freeze-dried meal to make yourself some lunch or dinner. 
or you could put it in a Nalgene type water bottle to put in your sleeping bag to keep you warm once you go to bed. All right, folks, I hope you have a great time out snow camping and stay safe out there. For now though, I'm gonna get out of the elements and tuck into my tent. Goodbye for now.